What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Callie and we're back with another video. I know it's been a while. I've been doing some other stuff trying to get some things ready for um, TVC Studios or um, the channel that I share with my friend, but uh, today we are back with another repair. I haven't done one of these in a while because all I get here is mainly iPhones and once I've done a tutorial on iPhone it's basically the same all across the board. But today we got something interesting. We got this uh, this bad boy right here. This is a Motorola G7 power I believe. It's an XT 1955-5 so um, it should be an interesting one to fix. I personally hadn't seen this one before um, and I think it's if you can see it's a little bit um, bent so we're gonna see if we can put the new screen on there without any issues so let's uh, let's go ahead and get to it alright guys so let's start this repair hopefully the lighting isn't as as trash as in previous videos just because um, it's it's hard to <laughs> to light this up properly uh, but anyways let's get started with the repair so the screen is pretty pretty cracked as you can see and then you can see all the lights that I got set up it's just this area where I'm at this this light up here uh, oh wait, actually no there's there should be a light right behind me it doesn't work properly so can't get the best lighting that I wish we could um, so I am doing the best with what I have or you know what let me try something all right let's see if that helps I don't think it's really gonna make a difference but um, let's get to the important thing which is this repair so the first thing we're gonna do is remove this this back um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our heat guns make sure it's at an appropriate level move my magnetic mat a bit okay so let's check to see if we can take advantage of something that's going on with this phone. Um, because it is curved. Oh my god, I forgot to do one important thing. I am an idiot. Always, for the love of God, remove the SIM tray. Please remove the SIM tray. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if I can take advantage of the fact that it's curved. Uh, the pressure on this back glass might cause this to start lifting on its own. So we're going to see if we can take advantage of that. So we're going to go ahead and do another round. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and take our, our tool here. Um... See, we should be able to go here where the SIM tray is located.
Okay. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with my camera today that it doesn't want to, um, doesn't want to zoom in or uh, autofocus correctly, but it's, um, so I was saying, well, as you guys were listening to the voiceover and not me, I had to take a call. Um, you want to be careful with this ribbon cable. It's the one for the fingerprint sensor. So you want to take this skinny looking, let me see if I can. Where's my, let me turn off autofocus for a minute there. So you want to take one of these skinny looking flatheads. I have no idea where I got this from. I can't even focus on it. I think that's it. It's pretty skinny. I don't know where I got it. I know it came, I think it came bundled with a, with a tool set that I had. Um, but I'm not exactly sure, but if you can find one of these size, these things I have always said will be your best friends. So you're going to go ahead and go in here and pry this out. Remove that and then remove the fingerprint sensor and then we can remove this back, this back plate and move it to the side. So the next thing we're going to do is remove all these screws that this phone has. Uh, I think these are hex screws. Let's see. Yes, these are actually torque screws, my bad. Um, and more likely than not, let's see. Let me pull out the ones that I have here because I keep some near me. This is probably going to be a T4 if I'm not mistaken. Torque screw 4. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, come on, autofocus. See, this is why I hate these things. Yeah, so if you have a, let me see if I can pull this into focus. This is the one that you're going to need, a T4. So go ahead and then get your screwdriver. Or if you are Eric, who won the last giveaway, take out your fancy new uh, iFixit Protect Tool Kit. And let's go ahead and move this back a little bit so we can... Have a little more space we're going to go ahead and remove all these screws and if you have a magnetic um sheet like this or i, I don't even know what these things are properly called um you want to go ahead and remove this all these screws pay attention to this one there's a sticker with a little s you also need to remove that too once you got those screws out should be able to pop this part off but be careful because there's still some ribbon cables and other stuff underneath you don't want to to damage and probably shouldn't be using that oh, this probably is going to be the worst repair guide or video or whatever you want to call this oh come on oh it's this adhesive there we go. So now we should be able to go around and get it to come up fairly easy. There we go. So there we go. That came off. We're going to put that off to the side again. Now we're going to remove this bottom part. Let's go ahead and get in there again. Well, I think this phone may have Oh no, that's just that part. Okay, go ahead and move this to the side again. And now we can start disconnecting stuff. So go ahead and grab your plastic pry tool and disconnect the battery. Because we're going to have to remove that. So, let's see, I think. Let me grab the screen. Nope, that's not it. So this is the screen actually. So before we even do anything, or anything else actually, let's go ahead and test the screen just to make sure it is working properly. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Plug in the battery again. Let me see if I can turn it on. 
Oh, it needs to charge. So I'm going to go ahead and charge it and then bring it back just to... I mean, you can tell it's working because that came up, but I want to make sure that the touch and everything else is working. So let me go ahead and charge it for a bit, and we'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. We're back, YouTube. So it is a different day, but... Um, oops, we got it to, to work. It's turning on. There's a passcode, so... Um, now we can go proceed with the rest, which is to remove, oh, let me see, we're going to have to remove this board, remove the battery, and this uh, daughter board down here to be able to put this on. See, I've seen a lot of videos where they replace the LCD and the frame, but I wanted to do one where I show you how to do just the LCD. Um, sometimes that could be more cost effective. And then hopefully from this video you'll see if it's even worth it or not because doing sometimes LCDs, digitizers without the frame can be a pain. It's a known issue with the galaxies. So let's see, let's go ahead and turn this off and then we'll continue from there. So the next thing we're going to do is now that it's off we're going to disconnect the battery again. Um, Oh man, it's kind of hard because all this shatter glass, and usually I would put tape on it, but um, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and put some tape on it just so I don't keep getting any more everywhere. That should be good enough. Let's go ahead and continue with this now. So, um, so we got these off, now we need to remove this other one. Let's go ahead and remove the the rear camera. That comes up like that. Put it to the side. Um, let's see what else. Let's um, disconnect these antennas. Let me just move this adhesive. I'll get rid of that in a bit, but we're going to disconnect these antennas. Uh, if I can get in there. Come on. Okay, that's one. Two. Those ones we're just going to put to the side like this. All right. And there's a couple other ribbon cables on this side. Can go ahead and remove those. And then there's another one here for the front camera. So you take your best friend, and you're slowly going to lift this part up. If I can get it, let's see. All right, here we go. And then just grab your tool and go ahead and pop that up and you can remove the front facing camera at this point and move it to the side okay and then we just got to remove that torque screw which uh, I think that's going to be uh, let's see it might be a T7 let's see where are my torque screws what is this T7 nope it is definitely not a T7 <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try these. This uh, T6 that I have here. So I don't think it was a T6, but the T6 is taking it out. I think it's going to be more like a T5. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And I did have a T5 here. Oh my god, what a dumbass. Uh, anyways, it looks like those are all our connections that we have on that board so now we should be able to to remove it go ahead and lift up this is why you want to remove your sim tray early because it goes in there now if the sim tray was still in there if you would try to open that up you would either end up bending the sim tray or damaging this part here and then that would that would pretty much make no sense at this point. Sorry, I felt like I thought I was gonna sneeze. That was just awkward. Um, as I was saying, then you would just pretty much have screwed that part. Um, so now let's go ahead and remove this bottom part. Uh, this is where the other antennas go. Uh, I've seen some people make the mistake where they pull these out all the way. You don't have to do that. Just just pop them up and move them to the side. 
that's all you gotta do. And then once again, there's another torque screw down here. Oops, my T5, where's my T5? There we go. Oops, come on. Is this thing not magnetized? There we go. Just move that, now we should be able to lift this up. Oh wait, there's this ribbon cable here, my bad. Okay, so this one you gotta be careful because this is USB type C and that connector is down here. So you gotta be careful when you lift up. So we're gonna try to do it this way. Let's see if I can, let's see, we should be able to use this little tool. Okay, so we got it up enough where we can put this in there. Okay, so this is a placeholder and then I'll just lift it from this side. There we go. Now it's basically out. And there it is. So that's the part you want to be careful with. Now we're going to go ahead and move this over. Since we're doing LCD, um, since we're doing LCD only, we don't have to remove these other parts um, because they're gonna they're gonna stay there. What we're gonna have to do next, though, is remove the battery because this flex cable for the LCD goes underneath the battery, so we have to remove that. Uh, give me one second. Let's. Uh, we should be able to use our heat gun here because this thing is destroyed to all hell. <laughs> um, so we're not going to use it anymore. So we should be able to heat up the the battery on this side and then be able to remove it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And once again, guys, I know the lighting is terrible. It's just in this spot that I am. Even in the other one, it was just... I'm going to try to get better lighting for you guys. Okay. Now let's test it to see if we can get... Um, some signs from the battery that it's been loosened because you don't want to damage this either. The easy way would be to get a replacement battery and um, just be ready for, for that part. But the thing is that with this video I'm trying to show you guys what it would be like if you had very limited options or didn't want to spend a lot of money but you wanted to get like let's say some data off of here. Um, I mean if you just want to get data where we tested the screen that pretty much would be at the point where you would stop. You wouldn't have to replace it. But um, let's say you wanted to get the data. And once you got the data, you said, you know what, might as well. I'm half the way there. Might as well finish fixing it. This is what it would be like. You don't want to bend it too much because you are going to damage the battery. So you just want to make sure to see if it's going to start to lift and how much additional um, heat we have to apply to to get it off. And let's test this other side. Try to edit this down so it won't be a super long video, but still keep all the necessary information on. Okay, so it sounds like it's lifting. So what you want to do at this point when you hear that is get this tool and see if you can get underneath. So you can get a little bit more leverage. But also you got to be careful because this part, I mean batteries are so sensitive that if you are not careful, even when everything is going right, you can still damage it. So you always want to be careful with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and heat it up a little bit more just so we can, we can have some more wiggle room. And if you're thinking to yourself, why not remove the, uh, this broken LCD and apply the the heat directly. No, you don't apply heat directly to the battery. That is a big hell no. Now let me get this phone.
Anyway, so as I was saying, for the love of God, do not apply heat directly onto a battery. That is a big no, sir. That is something you do not do. I don't care how many videos you see that they do it. Mm -mm. That is a big no, man. You do not want to do that. So let's go ahead and check here, see. Okay. And that's just the adhesive here that's that's making that sound. Don't think it's the battery or something. But because I took the call, um, this probably pulled down a bit. So let's go ahead and reapply some more heat. All right. Let's try again. Should be a lot easier this time. Okay. Yep. Looks like it's coming up a lot easier. The tricky thing now is to get it off without getting too much of a bend. Okay, let's see, we might be able to go in this way. Oops, sorry. Going that way. Okay, now that I got that in there, let me go get another one of these tools. Alright. Now let's see if we can if we can lift. Yep. It's starting to come up. Oops, oh whoa, whoa, that's starting to show too much of a bend. So now we're gonna back up and lift from this side. Whoa, wow, that's bending quite a lot there. Let's see if I can remove the adhesive that's holding that down. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. The struggle is real, guys. These type of repairs are not easy and not always something we want to do but it's always better to to fuck other people's shit up <laughs> I'm just playing um, to know what you're doing if you've never repaired a phone before or even opened one up please 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 don't don't do it with other people's stuff. Do do it on your own stuff. If you have like an old phone or something like that, just freaking crack it open. Um, and if you're like, you know what? I don't have the tools. I can't afford an iFixit. Dude, you don't have to buy an iFixit uh, Pro Tool Kit right away. If you go down to um, Home Depot, they have a little kit that I think is like 20 bucks. It doesn't have all the tools that you need. But it has enough to get you started with certain phones. Um, it'll it'll have enough to do. Um, I think it's like iPhone six through. Yeah, it'll be iPhone six and six, no iPhone five through iPhone six S, including the Plus editions. Um, just because that one does not have the. Damn, I forget what that new. Um, what is it a Y screw yeah I think it's a Y triple zero it doesn't have that one on there so you wouldn't be able to do the newest iPhones but um, it's still a great learning experience so I would I would recommend that especially if you're trying to get into fixing phones okay so it looks like we are removing that adhesive properly Okay, remember there's flex cables under here, so you always want to be careful with that. And yes, if I mess up, I do have additional parts waiting on the side, so that's another good thing about this. That I don't have to, I mean, I have to be careful, but I have that peace of mind that I do have other parts just in case we need to replace them. 
Okay, so it looks like it's lifting up. Okay. Let's see, there's probably going to be a small... You gotta be patient with it. Because the adhesive that they use is like, oh my god. Okay. And we got battery off. So, oh, so look, there's a tear on the battery. And that's what, what will happen sometimes. So you can't use this battery anymore. You're gonna have to use another one. So, I mean, I have another one waiting. Um, actually, is it here yet? Pretty sure it's here yet. I'm here already. Um, oh shit, it's not. Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like it's uh, arriving tomorrow. But anyways, we have a battery replacement coming in for this. Um, so because it's punctured, you can't use that anymore. And that's that's the difficulty of some repairs like these, um, especially when you're you're having to deal with that. Um, and you see this little scrape that I was talking about? This is what you want to be careful with because it is underneath the battery. Um, we could have damaged that and then we wouldn't be able to connect to this daughter board down here for the charger. Um, and then it would have been a whole mess. I mean, we have replacement parts for all of this, but that's, that's pretty much what you want to avoid. This one wouldn't have been an issue because we're going to replace it with the LCD anyways. But this is what you want to be, be careful with. So now we're going to go ahead and replace um, this. These parts um, come off. So we can just go ahead and peel this back. Okay. And now starts the fun part. Or not so fun. And it should be fairly easy. Let's see. Okay, so most of the damage was down here, so I think that's where that's where I'm gonna start, just because it should prove an easier entrance once I heat it up, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's get to to removing the screen. So let's, let's add adhesive down here. Okay. Now let's get in there. Let's see, just to make sure. Okay, so there's a dual layer. Let's see if I can. There we go. That's what we want. Ah, oh, fuck. Yep, just as I thought, pretty easy. I ah, can't even speak pretty easy. Let's go ahead and remove all this. See, oh damn, that thing just came apart. Put that to the side. We are going to have to clean all this though, so once again, you grab your best friend and you just start scraping. Alright, so update for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, um, the mid frame, the, this little, um, whoops, this, uh, I don't know what you would call it, fuck it, I'm blanking on the name, that holds the LCD that attaches it to the mid frame is severely damaged um, and the new screen is just not you see the, there's a very significant bent oops I was out of 
sorry there's a very significant bent that we we just can't get the digitizer to hold um, once we we put it in place it keeps coming up so I let the oops excuse me uh, I let the customer know that that was the issue with this um, but we can get it up to where the data that's on there we can get it off so now we're just waiting to to hear back but uh, unfortunately this is this is the type of stuff that you would run into with this type of repair uh, well hopefully you guys uh, learned something can't believe we're at 67 subscribers already for for the year you guys are freaking amazing once we get to 100 subscribers I wonder if I'm I know I'm gonna do a giveaway for sure but I don't know if I'm gonna do another iFixit ProTech toolkit to get more of you guys out there repairing stuff or if I should give away something else related to fixing computers. Um, I did a couple of blogs a couple back. I've also been trying to try my hand at that. I still still trying to figure out what I'm actually going to do with this channel and where I'm going to take it. Um, a lot of people have told me to focus just on repairs rather than doing um, you know several things but I think I'm just going to do pretty much whatever type of content I can get for you guys um, just so I can upload videos and throughout time figure out exactly what I'm going to do and if I decide to go with a mixture of repairs and other stuff gameplays I think I'm going to do that just because you know well it's it's my channel and if you guys you know appreciate certain things I really appreciate you guys for watching certain videos and others not but you know it's what I like to do want to upload some more gameplay me playing Call of Duty with my friends or any other games or maybe upload it to to the other channel that we're gonna have but I'll, I'll see what I do until then I appreciate you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it we're at 67 subscribers you guys are amazing I will see you guys on the next one